This section is 5.6 in determinate forms and L'Hopital's rule. So there are many different forms. You have zero over indeterminate forms, zero over zero. This is not one because anything divided by zero is undefined, right? So you get into an interesting situation here when you have zero over zero. Infinity over infinity is not equal to 1 because there are infinities that are larger than other infinities. That gets into something called topology, which we do not get into. For now, I guess you can just trust me that certain infinities are smaller and larger than other infinities. Um, infinity over 0 is, is uh, another indeterminate form. Um, negative infinity over 0 negative infinity over infinity and then infinity over negative infinity the only reason i don't have negative infinity over negative infinity is because the signs do reduce bringing me back to um, infinity over infinity so l'hopital's rule says that if you're taking the limit of a quotient that limit is the same value as if you took the limit of the quotient of the derivatives. So meaning you don't apply the quotient rule to find this derivative. We know the quotient rule, right? Low d high, high d low over low squared. You don't do that. What you do is you take the derivative of the numerator and you take the derivative of the denominator separately. And those limits are supposed to be the same, okay? So for example one, that's exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the L'Hopital's rule and we're gonna say that the limit as x goes to infinity and the derivative of this function is 2x plus one and the derivative of the denominator is 2x. Ah, one thing I didn't cover before I started. If I were to have done direct substitution would have had infinity squared plus another more infinity plus one which means you would have had infinity on the top and then at the bottom you would have had infinity squared which meant an infinity at the bottom this is one of those indeterminate forms and that's why I'm applying the L'Hopital's rule now notice though when I take the, the limit now if I were to do direct sub and plug in infinity here and infinity there I would still get infinity over infinity so I still have an indeterminate form, which means I can apply L'Hopital's rule again. And if I do that, the derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2. The derivative of 2x is 2, which ends up being um, just a constant. So you get 2 over 2, which is 1. And so the limit here is actually 1. Now we can do the same thing with um, different kinds of, a fu of functions. So for example, exponentials or logarithms. So if I were to plug in zero here, um, you would have e to the zero, which is one, and then one minus one is zero. And if I plug in zero at the bottom, I get zero. That's one of the indeterminate forms, which is why I would want to apply L'Hopital's rule. So the derivative of this is e to the 2x times the derivative, the chain rule, right? Times the derivative of the exponent, which is 2. And the derivative of minus 1 is just 0. The derivative of x is 1. And now if I do direct substitution, I can get e to the 2 times 0, which is 2 e to the 0, or just 2 times 1, which is 2. And so now I know that limit value. Okay, now the next problem um, is very similar. If I plug in um, infinity here, ln of infinity does go to infinity. Um, think of the graph. The graph looks like this, right? But it is going to infinity just slowly, but it is increasing forever. So it will eventually go to infinity as x goes to infinity. And if I plug in infinity there, I get infinity. So I do have that indeterminate form, which means I can do the L'Hopital's rule. So this will equal the limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. The derivative of x is 1. 
So really what I'm doing is I'm taking the limit as x goes to infinity of just 1 over x. And as x does go to infinity, this denominator is becoming increasingly and increasingly large, which is making the entire fraction smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, eventually approaching 0. So my limit here is 0. Now, let's look at a couple of other problems. So for example, 4, it says um, the limit of this. Well, let's go ahead and use, um, well, let's see if we have to use L'Hopital's rule. 0 there, I will get 36 minus 0, which is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. That 6 minus this 6 will give me 0. And if I plug in 0 in the denominator, I do definitely get an indeterminate form. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule. And we're going to, um, before I do that, let me rewrite it as 36 minus x squared to the 1 half over x. So now I'm going to actually apply L'Hopital's rule. So I'm going to take the derivative of this term. So 1 half 36 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. And then the chain rule says I have to multiply by the derivative of the base, which would be 0 minus 2x, or just negative 2x. And the derivative of minus 6 is just 0. So I don't need to have that there. The derivative of the denominator is 1. Remember, you're taking the derivative separately, not using the quotient rule. Um, this 2 will actually reduce with that 2, leaving me with um, a negative x in the front. And this negative means the square root actually goes at the bottom. And so then now if I plug in 0, I would get negative 0 over the square root of 36 minus 0 squared which is just 0 over the square root of 36. And it really doesn't matter what number this is. 0 divided by any real number besides 0 is going to equal 0. OK. So now we're going to try this one. So same thing. If I were to plug in infinity and cube it, I would get infinity. If I were to plug in infinity into an exponential, remember what that graph looks like. It is going to infinity as x goes to infinity. So you get infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So I'm going to go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule by um, taking the derivative of the numerator, which is 3x squared, over the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the 2x times the derivative of this which is 2. Now if I try to plug in infinity now, I'm still going to get infinity squared times 3, which is infinity, and e to the infinity, which is still infinity. Even after I double it, it's still infinity. Okay, So let's plot, apply L'Hopital's rule again. Oops. So here we'll get 6x, and here we'll get e to the 2x times 2, but there was already a 2 there, so you end up with 4 as a coefficient. Now if I plug in infinity, I'm still going to get 6 times infinity, which is infinity, and e to the infinity times 4, which is still infinity. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule again. And the reason I'm applying it over and over and over and over again is because polynomials are diminishing after so many derivatives. You only need to take so many derivatives before you end up with zero. So if that's what it takes, then just keep doing that, OK? So let's see what we end up with here. We end up with 6 over e to the 2x times a 2, but you already have a 4 there, so now it becomes 8. And now if I plug in infinity, um, you'll actually end up with 6 over infinity. So as the denominator gets extremely, extremely large, um, the fraction is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which means it does approach 0. You could also, to prove it further, do L'Hopital's rule again, right? Derivative of 6 is 0. The derivative of this is going to be 16e to the 2x. 
And then it doesn't matter what you have on the denominator as x goes to infinity, because zero is in the numerator, you know that the limit is going to be zero. And that is it for the examples for 5.6.